Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Kaba Ilko 220-53-41 Night Latch Quick Set Keyway Bronze Finish, Bronze Lacquered Finish. Uh, this is a Night Latch, uh, and this is the lock body or the business end of this, um, meaning, and this, it has a hold back on it. So, Night latch means whenever the door closes, it's going to be locked every single time. That's what night latch means. Unless, of course, you turn the inside and then drop the hold back button down, and then it will keep the latch retracted back for you. If you have to come in and out, let's say, uh, you typically see these on basement doors, quite frankly. They're good security. Uh, they're um, nice because from the exterior, you can't really get to the latch bolt at all, you know, and it's very, uh, you know, vandal resistant in that regard. It's hard to defeat these without just, qu quite frankly, kicking the door down. Um, so this is the uh, lock body. These are for in-swinging doors, okay, only in-swinging doors is what you'd use this on. Here's the strike. And there's a link below this video to the instructions which show how this is installed. This can be, a, this can be you know, quite frankly, this can be installed mortised or surface mounted. Probably wouldn't want to surface mount it. You probably want to at least mortise this into the edge of the frame and possibly surface mount the face of this. Okay, there's probably not room between the door and frame for you to surface mount this portion of the strike. But there's figures E, F, and G here showing you how to go about doing that. So I won't beleaguer all the points of the instructions. Um, so that's the strike. You're going to get a rim cylinder for the outside. This is your exterior access with a, a cylinder collar, cylinder ring. Okay, here's the plate to hold it on from the inside. That's going to assemble like this. This goes through the exterior. This is the plate that holds it on from the interior. Then you'll get two screws. They have a breakaway feature on them because they're, you know you can install these on doors that are thicker than standard. You can cut the screws off. So your screws will mount through these holes and then thread into the back of the cylinder as you see there. And that's how they'll be hold, held on. And there's two of them that you would use. Okay. Obviously two keys. They'll be in the standard quick set keyway for the rim cylinder. Then of course a bag of screws. You'll get um, three long screws for the body. You'll get one long screw for this hole here, you'll get two shorter screws for these holes here, then two zinc screws for holding that plate on from the inside in these holes. Okay, it'd actually go like this, these holes. Uh, the instructions are really clear cut, and on the back side, the second page is a, uh, you know, a template, a, 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 a true, a full size template that you can just cut and, you know, and attach to the door, tape it to the door. I like doing that. It's you know this for one hand. This would be like for a uh, right hand door. This would be for a left hand door. I like using the template, <clears throat> even though it measures out at about a two and a quarter inch back set, something in that range. But I like using the template because once you tape it on the door, I like to take a small center punch and a hammer and mark the holes on the door because when I use my drill bit, my drill bit doesn't have a tendency to walk because I've already you know, punched little dimples in the face of the door and that hole has a, a greater tendency of being drilled straight in, which is really what you want. So once you get the body installed per the template, you can then, um, you know, get to mortising and installing your strike. The instructions basically say in, at the very top of the instructions, It basically says, do a reality check on everything. Make sure nothing's going to be broken as a result of installing it. Uh, and I like to get this put on the door, get this put on the frame, and kind of visualize how it's all going to work together. You know, it'll, it'll look, look like that when it's installed. I like to visualize, get an idea, do a reality check on it, make sure everything's going to work correctly, and then go about your business of a, the template and marking holes and chiseling. Uh, that, you know, Plan the work and work the plan, as the old saying goes. So that's how this lock works. Uh, I've installed these many times. I've serviced these many times. There's really never a reason to take this back cover off. 
I can't think of a single reason why you would need to. So uh, probably don't be don't become curious. There are springs inside of there that you won't want to lose. Um, uh, and I've installed, uh, I've removed these from doors. I've drilled for these on doors. I've rekeyed the cylinder. So if you have any questions on the installation or any questions in general, general about a uh, the Kaba Ilco 220-53-41 night latch or any other Kaba Ilco product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.